What's up guys, today we're going to be talking about some tips to help speed up your Samsung Galaxy phone. Uh, today we're running the new One UI 5. Samsung has added like, I think a, a few things or maybe like one thing, uh, but I'm going to show you all of the things that you can do to speed up your uh, device, especially if you have a mid-range or a budget phone because the update is going to be rolling out for those phones. I noticed with the flagship phones, you really don't have to do this, but to keep your phone like running the smoothest and having the smoothest animations, I would definitely turn this stuff on uh, as well too so let's go ahead and get started here we're gonna go to settings and then we're gonna go to battery and device care now this is actually new and you'll see a new option here called auto optimization so device care automatically performs optimizations to keep your phone running smoothly this includes closing background apps and cleaning memory uh, so we're gonna hit restart when needed restart your phone automatically to keep uh, it in the best condition Automatic restart will only happen when you're not using your phone. After your phone restarts, you need to unlock it before you can receive notifications and alarms uh, from apps and you see the name of incoming callers and stuff like that. So definitely turn this feature on. I really do like this. So it just automatically uh, will go ahead and optimize it, automatically restart it when it needs to. Um, so that is definitely a very helpful feature. Definitely turn that one on. All right, next is something that I do for all of my uh, pretty much all my phones so it could be any Android phone really is we're gonna go to developer options if you don't have developer options uh, let me cover that up uh, software information so we go to about phone software information just keep tapping on the build number and then it'll let you into uh, developer options so we're gonna go back to settings scroll all the way down and now you'll see it right there and we're gonna scroll down until we get to the drawing category right here and then you can see window animation scale this is on 1x we're gonna turn everything to 0.5 I like to do this because it just makes everything feel extremely smooth when it comes to the animations and stuff you can see it it should feel much quicker you should instantly feel um, the animations being much quicker here and one UI 5 also has just smoother animations as well too so it really does feel like buttery smooth uh, with this one UI 5 update so definitely I like to do that see if you like it you can also turn it off if you want um, but yeah that's something that I would do to make your phone feel smoother alright so the next thing I like to do especially with these big updates like this is to wipe the cache so we're gonna go power our device down here and you can do this for any like I, I do this for big updates slow so if you get like an actual next version of Android so I, I like to do this so hold the power button volume up And then it's going to put us, give us our recovery options. And this is not going to delete anything off your device. I want to make that clear. All right, so you can see now we're in here. We're going to go down to wipe cache partition. Click the power button and click yes. I always do this and it really helps uh, the performance. And again, uh, that's not going to delete anything. Also, if you ever um, need to like wipe your device from there, or there's a lot of settings in there. I actually may, might make a video about that because a lot of people don't know about that. Um, the recovery uh, menu in Android phones. A lot of people who are not like tech savvy don't know about that. But definitely do that. You should notice, and I noticed this works best on uh, the older ones. Like my Note 10 Plus was like freaking out. And I went and wiped the cache partition and it really helped. All right, so this next tip is for mid-range and budget devices here. So you don't really need to do this on the S22. We're going to go into settings. You can, but it's not going to make a difference. Um, and then we're going to go to accessibility. And then you see visual, uh, not visibility enhancements. Now you're going to see something right here called reduce transparency and blur. This works wonders for uh, mid-range and budget phones. So it takes away the uh, sort of like that the blur effect as you can see and I'll show you guys what it looks like with it off just in case you don't notice that will help a lot uh, with performance there so all these like fancy little blurs and stuff like that Samsung does that does take a toll on speed and for phones that don't have the processor to be able to handle all that uh, then you know you want to go ahead and turn that off now honestly you can remove animations if you want to prevent some screen effects useful uh, if you're sensitive to animations or screen movement that will also help a little bit but honestly I don't, I don't think it'll help too much but I know the the transparency uh, that does work 
Right, so the next thing we're gonna do is head into settings here. We're gonna go down to battery and device care here. We're gonna click on memory right here. All right, so the RAM Plus. RAM Plus uses your phone's storage space to provide virtual memory. Choose more virtual memory to allow uh, more apps to stay open in the background. Choose less virtual memory to keep more storage uh, space free. So if you are somebody that, let's say you have a Galaxy A13, A52 or something like that, you need more uh, you know, RAM basically to run an application in the background. If you're, This is for people who multitask a lot. Uh, then we can go ahead and set that to 6 gigs, 8 gigs. Um, like I said, I'm not going to do that because I don't, I'm not a heavy multitasker, but if you're somebody that constantly is like switching between applications, this is something that you're going to want to turn on uh, to get just better performance as far as keeping apps open and your device should overall just be a little bit smoother um, from that. But like I said, if you're on a flagship device, you don't really have to do that uh, because the, the flagship phones are pretty well optimized to handle multitasking. Alright, so the next thing is we're going to go into settings, we're going to scroll down here developer options again here and we're going to and this is something for people who do not multitask at all um, where is it background pop process limit so it's under apps um, so you can see the standard limit here but if I'm somebody that does not multitask at all I would straight up turn it off like if you only use one application at a time right and you're not switching between I would turn it off and if you're somebody that's a light multitasker you want two applications running in the background at most this works wonders for budget devices um, it just works wonders because that's a lot of time uh, they lag because you got too much stuff running in the background you might have a game or just whatever running in the background and you know it just can't keep up so I would put it at most one two or I would just turn it off completely if you find yourself uh, not multitasking and the quickest way to do that you can do don't keep uh, activities in here as well. Alright, lastly would be widget stacking. So I noticed this just helps because um, you got to think about it like on a Windows computer if you have just a ton of widgets on your home screen and just a bunch of clutter on the on the desktop, right? It just feels like a kind of a laggy experience uh, at least for me sometimes. So you always want to make sure that's clean. Samsung has implemented the widget stacking so you just long press create stack and you can go ahead and add your widgets here on top of each other. It's better to add them on top of each other than to have them like scattered around everywhere, in my opinion. Uh, overall, it's just more efficient and smoother. Um, so that's pretty much my tips. Be sure to let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.